What's up guys, wanted to make a quick video. Let's talk about Form of the Dinosaur and one other card. Looks like Journey to Eternity today. Uh, Form of the Dinosaur is interesting. It's a six mana enchantment from Ixlon. It says when it enters the battlefield, your life total becomes 15, very similar to Form of the Dragon, which set your life total to five. But Form of the Dragon reset your life total every turn so that if your opponent couldn't deal five to you in one fell swoop, you would just be immortal, basically. Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, Form of the Dinosaur deals 15 damage to target creature and opponent controls, and that creature deals damage equal to its power to you. So basically, you're just fighting a creature every turn. Uh, this is interesting because there's actually, there's actually a Hearthstone card that says when you're... It's a creature, it's a minion. And it says when your opponent uh, plays a minion, this creature fights that creature, basically. It, it deals its attack and damage. Um, so this is very similar, and it's also a dinosaur. So this is very similar because now you're that dinosaur, basically, where like every time during your upkeep, you can kill something off, but it deals damage to you. So if they have like a 9-9, nine, nine, you can kill it, but you're going to take 9 in the process. This card's very, very interesting, and I think it's a lot stronger than people are giving it credit for. If you're at 2 life and you play this, you've gained 13 life, and you would be dead to any 2 damage anyway at that point. So being able to just pick off the opponent's creatures... It basically makes it so that your opponent gets one attack with their creatures, and then that's it, right? So um, if you play Hearthstone at all, it's similar to having a weapon, where you attack a creature with a weapon, and it does deal damage to you. So like if you attack a three-power creature, it, it deals three to you, but that creature dies because they took three damage, or you know however strong your weapon is. However strong, you know, Form of the Dinosaur is always going to kill that creature. Depending on it, unless it's a 16, 16, I guess. But it's always going to kill anything with 15, 15 toughness or less. And you're going to take that much damage. So, I mean, yeah, it's probably going to kill anything. And it's the same as if they were just able to attack with it once. And then you, uh, then it dies. Then that's it. Then it dies. You know, so I think this card is very versatile. Um, I, I like the implications of this card. As usual, there's always going to be a uh, six plus mana enchantment in red in a new set that's a rare that's going to have this really weird ability so like last set it was sunbirds invocation you know stuff like that uh so i i, I assume form of the dinosaur is fulfills that criteria for rivals of Ixlon, and uh we'll just have to we'll have to wait and see i guess where this card settles because i think it's cool i think this ability is very unique and i like it a lot and uh people are like well this card's just terrible because you know you just take so much damage but you you might not you know, this might actually just save you and, and be able to pick off creatures that you would have otherwise no way to deal with every single turn, no less. The next interesting card uh, is Journey to Eternity. And uh, this costs three mana, one black green, and it's, a, it's, it's an aura. It goes on your guys. I like the applications of this card in Modern. And that seems weird. But think about it this way. You put it on a, you, you play a turn two Sakura Tri-Builder. Turn three, you play Journey to Eternity. You can then sacrifice the Sakura Tri Builder. Journey to Eternity says, when enchanted creature dies, return it to the battlefield under your control, then return Journey to Eternity to the battlefield, transformed. And when it transforms, it is Atzal Cave of Eternity. And add one mana of any color to mana pool to tap it. So it's basically just a city of brass that doesn't do any damage. And five mana, return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. So there's two things you look for when a card returns a creature. It's whether it returns it to the battlefield of your hand and whether you can get it from any graveyard or your graveyard. This fulfills the more important one, which is return it to the battlefield. That's more that's it's arguably more important than if it can return a creature from an opponent's graveyard. Because that's more rare. That's a more rare ability. And uh, it's not always necessary. <clears throat> it's a cool bonus, but not always necessary. So what we're looking at here, you play turn turn two secure tri builder, and you put this on it <clears throat> on turn three. You sacrifice the tri builder. You not only get the tri builder back, this then flips. So you went from three mana to four mana with the tri builder to five mana with Athzal. So the very next turn, you could actually sack tri builder again, get six mana, and go into turn four with seven mana. Which is actually that's a, that's an incredible amount of mana. I'm not sure what creatures in standard there are that can easily sacrifice themselves. Um, I know there were a lot in well, maybe not a lot, but there were a couple in. Uh, there were, well, actually, there were a lot in the Battle for Zendikar standard because you had things like Scions and stuff that you could easily put this on. But um, finding a way for the creature to die might be a little tricky. Um, if not, though, this card seems very strong. And like I said, in Modern, there's a lot more creatures that you can just sacrifice in order to get the, the effect immediately. And I think this is a strong card to, to build around. 
because it obviously like when it when it flips you get the creature back this turns into a land and you can start reanimating creatures from your graveyard so bring back a you know primeval titan bring back a grave titan you know whatever's in your graveyard shieldred you name it um this card seems very very versatile and i like it a lot and even if you just put it on a creature that's going to die naturally when it flips it's still very strong so um yeah, these are two cards that stood out for me. Um, I'll try to make some more videos like this in the week. And uh, hopefully you guys are following or subscribing on YouTube. Make sure you do that. Definitely appreciate it. You can hit those buttons down there. And I'll see you next time, guys.